Okay. Hey, this is Nisi P of Nisi P Entertainment and the Inner Sanctum Radio. We are so blessed to have Miss Robin Garrett with us tonight. She is the author of Broken for His Glory. And I had to make sure I had to look and see because I wanted to make sure that I got that title right. Miss Robin, welcome. We are so glad to have you here tonight. This is hello, everyone. How are you? Doesn't she have a really pretty smile? You guys are just like that is so just so awesome. Okay, Okay, so Miss Robin, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I just became a brand new author. Um, yay! Yay! Um, first and foremost, before I start, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much. Uh, It is an honor and a privilege to be able to speak with you all on tonight. I thank God and I pay homage to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from whom all blessings do flow. I'm grateful for this opportunity that he has given me. That's first and foremost. I would not be here if it was not for him. Secondly, um, I want to give homage to my daughter, um, Nana, and her name is Shadira, but I I love her and my family, my mom, my brothers, uh, Henry, Brian, Rodney, Calvin, Tammy, Christopher, um, Terrell, Vinny, you know, and my Aunt Jessica Kay and everybody else. Shout out to my pastor, Pastor Jesse Smalley. Hello, Emmanuel Dijo. Cathedral Church and God in Christ, and to Pastor um, Maurice Taylor. So I wanted to kind of get that out of the way. Um, I am a single mom of one daughter. Um, she's about to graduate college. Thank you, Jesus! Yay! Yay. With her bachelor with her bachelor's degree. Um, actually, this month. December 26th. So it's funny how both of us is just, you know, God is good. God is good. You know, I launched a book on the 7th of December and she's graduating on December 26th. So God is good. Um, I work in the health healthcare industry. Um, I weigh, I wear multiple hats. Um, I'm a mom, as I said, I'm a sister, aunt, you know, best friend, but um, I also do a lot of counseling you know, one-on-one counseling. Um, I'm a leader in my community. Um, So I've done so many things, you know, throughout my career. So I am just excited. Yay! So awesome. That is, that is just so awesome. Okay. So tell us a little bit about your book. Okay. Broken for His Glory um, came about, um, a couple years ago, a few years ago. Okay. And it it is about my life of my me being raped um, as a young child and me um, being molested as well. And also me going through a bad marriage, a divorce, um, a, you know, with abuse and domestic violence and overcoming all of those things wow. but for me um I had to understand the why okay I had to understand why like why did this happen to me you know mm-hmm. and for me to be able to understand it I had to get in God's face like I literally had to get in God's face I literally had to be like I was having a a tantrum, like I was having a fit, you know, with God. Mm-hmm. I was like, Lord, what, what, like, you know, don't you love me? Like, what, what, why would you do this to me? Why would you, I mean, you took so much from me, God. Like I was having that moment. I'm, I'm being transparent right now. Mm-hmm. I had that moment of, I didn't understand the why. And until, um, back in 2003, when I was just coming out of my um, emotions of my domestic violence and everything. I was, I was so broken. I was so all over the place. And it wasn't until I ran across my best friend and she was telling me about this church and everything. And I was like, 
I don't want to go to nobody's church. You know, church? No, I don't want to go to anybody's church. Okay. Robin, trust me. She said, if you come, you know, everything that you have been through will make sense. I didn't understand it then. Okay. But I understand it now. So that, and I was asking God and the pastor, um, when I went there, the pastor prayed for me and the pastor said, you have something inside of you that we need to hear. You have a story to tell. I, I'm like, you know, and when you, when somebody's praying for you, you listening, but tears was coming down my face, but I didn't lose it because I wanted to hear. I wanted okay. to hear what was being said to me, you know, and I said, okay, Lord, I don't know what you're doing, but amen. And from 2003 to 2007, a bishop came and said the same thing that it was said to me in 2003. Wow. And it was saying, there's a book, there's a book and books inside of you that you need to tell. You mm -hmm. need to tell your story because you're not going to be free until you tell your story, until you unlock what God has inside of you. So I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, I don't know what this is. I said, I don't know how to write a book. I don't know where to, where to begin to even write a book. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to 2016, I was in nursing school and I was cramming for my exam. And the Holy Spirit said, I need you to write your book. I'm looking like, huh? You know, and I was looking because the person was next to me and they were inside their, um, they were doing their work. And I was just making sure that, you know, they wasn't the one speaking to me. I was like, I said, hi, did you say something to me? And mm -hmm. she said, no, no, but hello. You know, and I was looking around and then I said, okay, five minutes later, the Lord said it again. He said, you need to write. You start it, I will finish it. I said, well, yeah. Lord, okay, well, I'm supposed to write this book. Then you got to give me a name for this book. Where, where, where am I? He said, I broke you. Oh, my I broke goodness. you. For me, I didn't break you for nobody else. I broke you down so that I can get the glory out of your life. You've been running around and wondering what is going on with you. Why this? Why that? Now I can tell you the why. Okay. Now I can help you understand where you need to go in your life okay. and why I put you in that place. Now you're ready. Before you wasn't ready because you wasn't listening to me. You were all, you was all over the place. You were so busy being angry. You were so busy being, you know, bitter. I had to clean up the bitterness. I had to pluck it up out of the root in order for me to use you. In order for me to get that good soil out of you, mm -hmm. I had to clean you up first. So that's where Broken for His Glory came about. Wow. That's, that's such an awesome story. Um, it just seems like it just was like when you went full circle from being, you know, into all of these different situations to where God needs you to be right now. That is, that's yes. an awesome story. So did your book, when did your, when did you launch your book? Um, I finished my, I completed my book over the weekend and my um, book over launched this past on yesterday. Weekend? Yes. And it oh launched on yesterday. Yes, yes. So I am excited. I'm excited about this book because as I started writing the book, mm -hmm. I said, Lord, you write. You help me write. I, I, I need you to get down inside of me and pull what you want me to say. Okay. Not what I want to say, but what would you have me to say? And I had to go into my secret closet. True story. Go into my secret closet. And I said, Lord, if this, if you're not in it, I don't want to do it. If you're not in this book, I don't want to complete this book. If you're saying for me to do this book, 
and you said to these pastors that have told me mm-hmm. and spoke a word over me, I need you to confirm what you were saying to me. But I knew something was in me. I always knew. I knew something was in me. I just didn't know how to get it out. I, I always kept coming back to this book. I, I, I kept coming back to when I said, okay, Lord, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. And it, and, and it just kept, I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. But listen, let me tell you. I am so grateful. I am eternally grateful that I did because now the weights, the weights are off me. The weights are, I feel like, I I feel like I'm flying. I feel like I'm floating. I just feel I'm so excited about this book. I am so excited, you know, that, oh, I cannot wait for you guys to read it. I'm telling you, I cannot wait. wait. So when you were writing the book, like it, was it like, okay, I wrote a chapter here and I wrote a chapter there, but it was just a constant flow for you when you start writing it? When I first started writing this book, it was a flow. Okay. It was like, I couldn't, it was like, I couldn't put the book down. It was like, it it was like, I woke up with the book. I slept with the book. I woke up with the book. I, I went to work with the book. I, I was on my job taking care of people mm-hmm. and stuff was just jotting. It just, just was coming to my mind and I would have to hurry up and have scrap paper to write it down because I didn't want to lose, you know, my, right. my thought patterns. Right. And I, I just started, I said, you know what, I'm gonna have to have a notebook with me. So I just started carrying a notebook because God just was pouring and he was downloading things. And it was so fast that I was like, Lord, hold up, wait a minute. I, I, I'm trying to comprehend, you know? And it was just like, okay. And, and I would tell people, I was like, give me five minutes. Just, just give me five minutes. I'll be right with you. And I just started writing things down. And then it just like life happened. So I started my book in 2016. Okay. 2017, I had about 40 pages, 40 to 50 pages mm-hmm. done in 2017. But I started, you know, working and working in my field that I was like, okay, by 2018, I knew something. I said, okay, I, I, I got to finish this book. Okay. That's 2018. 2019, it hit. I just joined a new church. I just joined this church. And we're in, um, I'm under the leadership now of Pastor Jesse Smalley. And he was preaching and I was, I could see this and I was in the back of the church and he was like, somebody got books that they need to write. And I was like, what you say? I said, Lord, okay, you, you definitely speaking. You, you, you speaking. I said, this man, don't, he, I said, Lord, I know you in the air. <laughs> you in the air. I said, because this was spoken in 2003. Okay. And somewhere, somehow, prayer, he he ran to me, laid his hands on me, and I tell you, I fell to the floor, and he was speaking. He said, whatever is in you got to come out. He said, books is coming out of you. Books oh, is coming out of you. He said, and they're not just going to come out. They're going to be a bestseller. They're going to be, you know what I mean? So that was in 2019. In October of 2019, to be exact, and he was mm-hmm. preaching this message. And um, he was saying how things not coming, you know, working for you is actually working for you. You know, your fruits are going to fall. People that are not connected to you say thank you you know, because they're not supposed to be connected to you, you know, so go ahead on and, and, you know, flourishing. I was like, Lord have mercy. So from October, 2019 mm-hmm. until now, I, I knew, I knew I had to finish this book. I knew it was imperative. Okay. You so Robin, tell us where we can go and find your book. Um, it's on amazon.com. Mm-hmm. And you can you can find it. It is Robin L. Garrett, and it is Broken for His Glory. You will find the book. Um, it's right there. It's launched and everything. And I'll tell you one thing: you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. 
when you read so this book. I do have one other question. Um, as and, and you and I had a conversation earlier. What advice would you give for someone that not necessarily in, in that was in your situation, but if someone like they felt like they had that book in them or they're in the middle of their book or you know they, they're right there at the edge, what advice would you give to them? My advice to you all, if you have a book inside you, if you have something inside you that is keep that you feel that nudge, that is God nudging you. Pay attention to that. I would say keep writing. My advice to you would be make sure God is in the forefront. Make sure God is leading you. You want the Holy Spirit to lead you. You want God in the forefront because what God will do is he'll give you the tools. God equip those that he sends. He will give you everything that you need right at your fingertips. You start, God will finish. You have to start it. You have to start it. And I'm telling you, God is not a respecter of person. If he did it for me, he is the same God that can do it for you. Yeah. Guess what? Right. Even in, even in the chaos, even in the chaos, even in the midst of turmoil, even in the midst of this pandemic, I finished this book. Even I was broken, I finished this book. Even hurt, I finished my book. I had surgery, I finished my book. I had so many ups and downs, twists and turns, I finished my book. You're gonna finish it. It starts with you, that, I dare you. That, that is so awesome. So Robin, you wanna give us a little hint? Is there another book in you that, that you're gonna start on? Well, yes, yes, I, I, I did not stop there. And I just believe that, you know, I have books, plural, inside of me. That's so awesome. when the time is right, God will lead me and I'll be writing my next book. So I just wanted to encourage you all and tell you, push, 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 push. And the last thing I want to say to you is make sure you have the right people around you mm -hmm. that believe in you that help cultivate you, that will help push you, that will help pray you through when you can't pray yourself through, that will help say, uh-uh, come on, let's go. Come on, nope, you can do it. You know, you need that. In order for you, my sister, my brother, to be able to complete this, you have to start and it starts with you. Yeah. God bless you. I, I, I like that push. Pray until something happens. I, I yes. love that. I, I really love this. Robin, thank you so much for coming to NCP Entertainment and having a conversation with us and, and your book. Um, I do want my own autographed copy. You do know that, right? <laughs> yes, I will give you your own autographed copy. Yes. I own yes. autographed copy. <laughs> I do. Again, I really appreciate you coming and talking to us. I, I wish you all the ultimate success that there is. I can't wait to read your book. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I am definitely going to look out and wait for your second book. That is just awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. God that bless so you. Awesome. Well, this has been Nisi P of Nisi P Entertainment and the Inner Sanctum Radio. Back to you in the studio.